Secrets is hanging out here with Tessa Ia today. How are you doing? Hi, I'm very excited. Thank you. Of course, of course. This is just so exciting for you because the show is here. Yes. You know, I want to talk a little bit about it for people, obviously, that haven't seen it yet. Can you give us a little rundown on what we could expect? Because I know you are the lead. The lead in the show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, well, I play the character of Cristina, who's a girl who apparently has her life figured out. She has her apartment of her dreams, the uh, her job of her dreams, and the uh, the boyfriend of her dreams. Yeah. And then one week before she gets married, she finds him being unfaithful. So her whole world is like torn apart, but she has these amazing friends that can help her through these situations. And each one of the universes of each character is just so unique and complete. It's, it's a series that makes you have a good time, makes you have a laugh and makes you really like empathize with the characters. Oh, of course. And I know it's been like touted as the Spanish version of Friends, pretty much. I grew up watching Friends, like I loved it so much and I still watch like the reruns now. <laughs> so when you were, you know, getting this role, did you look at shows like that to prepare for your character? It's funny because I, well, I love Friends and yeah. I've, I've seen it all my life. Yeah. Also, Sex in the City, I, I watched a couple of episodes, I, I've, I'd watched it before. Yeah, I rewatched some episodes, and then have you seen? It's an English series called Love or Love Sick. Okay, familiar. Yes, I feel like that was one of the references that we really liked with our director Rafa Lara because of the comedic tone in it. Mm -hmm. um, the dramedy I feel is very difficult to do in Spanish or in with our Mexican Latin American culture because we come from so many telenovelas it's, it's very hard to like do like to set yourself apart from that mm -hmm. so I feel like Lovesick was a very good reference for all of the cast and crew for what we were doing I love it I love it and I know you guys filmed in Mexico City for this no actually no. It's the series takes place in Mexico City but we filmed in Bogota four months in Colombia last year, which were very intense. Really hard to be away from home that long, but also really cool that you get to focus completely on your work while you're there. And you get to meet a new country. Yeah, I was gonna say, how did you explore the country? Did you, you know take some of that and put it in, in your, you know, when you were filming and things like that? Um, well, Bogota is a very similar place to Mexico City, but there, because it's very subtle in the differences. Like the differences are in words and vegetables. I did not recognize a single vegetable when I was in the supermarket there, but, but the culture is so warm and so loving. So, so similar to Mexican culture in that way. That was really, really fun. Wow. See, I've never been to Bo I've never been to Mexico and I've never been to Colombia. So you, you talking about this, I'm just like so fascinated by it, you know? <laughs> I, both, great, both great places. Yeah, oh, for sure. And you know, I love that this show is in Spanish, but you do have the English subtitles. Because for me, I, I don't know Spanish, you know? I enjoyed it too. <laughs> <laughs> so I enjoyed it. Yeah, you know, it's great because like you could still kind of follow it. And um, I love that you guys are bringing in a, a, a bigger audience because if you guys didn't have that, I, I wouldn't watch it because I wouldn't know what was going on, you know? Totally, it's really, it's really fun actually knowing that since it's been airing on Pantalla, I would have expected most of the people to watch it to be, uh, I don't know, from Latin American descent. Yeah. And it's been really fun seeing that Mary, many Americans have been watching it. Like, awesome. Yeah. yeah, what can we expect from the whole season? Is there, cause I know it's coming available to binge, you know, a uh -huh. week from now. So what can fans really expect? What can you tease? Ah, uh, well, um, See, so there's been three episodes coming out every Thursday, I believe, on Pantalla. And next week on, it's gonna be like all up in the, in the platform so that you can binge watch it completely yeah. from episode one to episode nine and leave you thirsty for second season. Yes, okay, okay. And maybe do you have like a favorite memory from being on set with the other cast members? What was the dynamic like for you guys? Oh, it was so much fun because we were all mostly like a group of Mexicans living by themselves in Bogota. Obviously our our Colombian friends like really uh, warned us in, but yeah. it was just so much fun in general. I was 
obsessed with eating something called pan de bono, which okay. is like a little ball of bread, but the bread is also cheese at the same time, and it blew my mind. So, <laughs> just the food, oh, I miss it. I love it, I love it. And maybe do you have any behind the scenes secrets from filming, maybe that we wouldn't know when we watched the show? Are there any like Easter eggs, fun facts, things like that? Well, there's, I, I don't know, there because these things sometimes feel like so personal that we're gonna laugh at them, but nobody's gonna get them. But one time, one of uh, my co-stars, Carolina Ramirez, <laughs> like broke her tooth in the middle of filming and she couldn't go to the dentist until we were done. So oh it was just a whole day of filming with her trying to cover her broken tooth, but it looked so funny that we just had a blast that day. Oh my God, that must have been, that must have just been so funny and crazy at the same time. Crazy because that's your job. You have to look the part, but yeah. then when you have like a mishap like that happen, it's, I don't know how you deal with that. <laughs> I would have been torn apart. <laughs> and you know, like we did say, this show, it covers a lot of relatable topics for anyone, no matter what culture you're from, where you live. Um, maybe can you touch on some of those and how does it feel for you that you guys are portraying that on television so people can relate, you know? Um, it's a series that really talks about, uh, let's see, like sexual orientation. Um, I feel like each one of the female characters also has a very individual like struggle in her life, just not forcefully like a feminist struggle, but they all have something that they, they are seeking to understand. There's Graciela who has her family life. Hannah is more, uh, I think, about her sexual life. My character, Cristina, is going through the infidelity and lies <laughs> that terribly like happen. And, and who else? I don't know. It's, it's just such a complete show. It really, I feel like it has stories for all, all all sorts of ages, all sorts of personalities, because no matter what you're going through, there's a character that you can really identify with. With Rodrigo's character, I have like three friends who are going through exactly the same thing. Wow, wow, crazy. Is there maybe something that you want people to take away overall when they watch the show? Is there like one message? Uh, well, honestly, I feel like it's been such a terrible year worldwide that I just wish people have a good time seeing the show. I really feel like it's a show that puts you in a good mood and that's what we need nowadays. We just need something to make us laugh, relax and, and empathize. Of course, of course. And lastly, my last question, um, you did say something about a season two. Meaning that people want, you know, they want more. So is there a season two happening? Well, I'm, I'm not going to say more about it, but it's, I feel like first season ends in a super cliffhanger. So it's I'm sure you should, you should expect a second season. And what would you want to happen to your character if so? Ah, I, I personally would want my character to go to therapy, <laughs> but I'm not sure that's going to be her way. <laughs>